15. Our topic is building relationship intelligence. Building relationship intelligence. Just trying to understand this art of connecting and living with people. Building relationship intelligence. How do we connect? How do we live with people? What does the Bible have to say concerning living well with people? Building relationship intelligence is our topic. First Thessalonians 5.11, uh, kindly check for us whether we can get Message Bible. Uh, let's try Message Bible, MSG, Message Bible. We read um, these five verses in Message Bible. And I want you to kindly help me read the word of God. It's good when we read the word. When you go to the book of Ezra, you realize that leading of the corporate leading of the scripture was practiced in the temple. Amen? And there was a time Ezra stood on the platform and read the word from morning to the evening. And the Israelites were saying, Amen. 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 From morning to evening. Just leading of the scripture. I think one of these Sundays we'll have scripture leading Sunday. Amen. Sit on a special Sunday. Special Pillar Sunday, Special Children Sunday. We can have Special Scriptures Sunday. Triple S. Amen. Amen. Now, let's read this word together. One, two, three, God. The Bible says, So speak encouraging words to one another. Build up hope so you will all be able, to, you all be together in this, sorry. Uh -huh. No one left out. You all be together in this. No one left out. Uh huh. No one left behind. We all move together. Uh huh. I know you're already doing this. Just keep on doing it. I know there is something good that is happening in PMI, right? But keep on doing it. I know we are trying to walk with one another. That is good. But Paul says, keep on doing. This. Amen. I know we are building relationships. Let's keep on doing this. Verse 12. Let's read verse 12 as our life depends on the word of God. One, two, three, we go. And now, friends, we ask you to honor those leaders who work so hard for you, who have been given the responsibility of urging and guiding you along in your budgets. They are those that God has given amidst you who work hard, who God has given the responsibility of urging and guiding you as you walk in obedience. Next verse. Taking eye to this, let's go. Overwhelm them. Wow. Do what, church? Overwhelm them with the appreciation and, uh-huh, Now we are getting the intelligence now. Get along among yourself. Uh -huh. Now, each and every one of us, the way we are seated here, we need to do our part. When we come together in fellowship, we have leaders. Let's overwhelm leaders with our love and appreciation. Then let's learn how to get along with one another. Yes? And as we do this, let each and every one of us be careful to do their part. Tell your neighbor, do your part. And allow me do my part. Amen? I may try to dance. Kama vile ni mejaribu hapa. Kama si jajaribu dance wapendwa. Nino 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 watu wanasunguka hivina mini kajaribu kusunguka lakina sikia. Let those who can dance do their part. Those who can sing, let them do they are part. Those who can spin chapati in the hospitality department, let them do their part. Those who can lead us in prayer sessions, let them do their part. Those who can clean the church. Those who can give towards the church project, let everybody do their part. Hallelujah. We are building relationship, intelligence, in the body of Christ. Verse 14. Aya. 
Niko doma toko doma ka. Reka ito dome. Turikuwa tunasoma what? Sindio? Aha. Go ahead. Lead with the best of your voice. Aha. Our counsel is that Kuna watu kwa kanisa bibire inaita nini? Unajua kwa in. <laughs> One who the free roaders when you anaekelea watu mizigo. Ukitafsiri kwa Kiswahili. Let's read it again. Our counsel. I can only hear Mam Julia and Pastor Jane. Can church read the word of God? Let's read it together. Aha. Uh-huh. Our counsel is that you want the free lawless to get a move on. Mhm. Gentry and courage. Kuna watu wengine kwa church wanaitwa wanaitwa je church? What do you do with them? Ah uh-uh. ah, gentry and courage, the stragglers. So when you see me struggling with my dance, gentry encourage me to dance my style. Yawa. Amen. Amen. Gentry encourage the stragglers. Let's continue reading. Reach out for the wale ambao tuki dance wanasimama na muna hii ni kuchoka. Amen. Nipungia ni mkono hivi wenye wamechoka. Reach out to them that are exhausted. Wale wamechoka unajua church ni mahali pazuri. Kuna muhubiri mmoja aliniambia pastor watu wakikuja church na uone wanalala, wacha walale. Because possibly this is the only place they have found peace. So if they can sleep let them But be careful. You discern the kind of sleep. Maana kuna ingine ya roho mwingine anaimba mawazo ya watu. Wasisikie neno. Sawa sawa. Okay, we are reading the word. Reach out for the exhausted. Let's continue. Pulling them. Siku moja hapa tukiona sisi tunaendelea na wewe umeketi tutakupull to your feet. Maana Biblia inasema pulling them to their feet. Mkiwasaidia kusimama ambao wamechoka na wasaidiwe kusimama aha aha church let's be patient with one another let's be attentive to the needs that are there in our midst of course there are needs even right now looking around you can discern a need in your sister's life in your brother's life the bible says be attentive to the individual needs because the needs are not the same hello Amen. Kama sahi kuna watu wanahitaji maji na wewe unaweza wabariki na maji. Si be attentive to that need. Amen. Let's read verse 15. Hallelujah. Let's read it. Let's read it church. And Aha. Muja soma. Mulikuwa muna jaribu kwa nunu 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 nunu. Sasa tu soma. Bibre inasema aje. Ebu tu soma pole pole. And be careful that when you get on each other's nerve. And. Amen. Kumbe kuna wakati we get to each other's. Hani mtu wana kuingia mpaka na kuingia mahali na sikia hii. When we get to each other's nerves, don't snap at. What do you need to do? Ah, church. What do we need to do? Look for the. Sasa, the one who number look for the best in them. Niwale wa mekuingia into your nerves. Ah, praise the name of Jesus. Look for the best in it. Uh huh. And always. When you see the best in them, do your best. See wao wafanya their best. Wewe, do your best to bring it out. Tell your neighbor, this is relationship intelligence. When we are serving together church, let truth be told. At times, we get to each other's nerves. 
ukweli ama hapa wewe tu nakaanga tu hapa uko sawa hakuna mtu ashai kukanyanga vibaya nuiria mkono hivi kama wewe hujai kanyangwa vibaya wewe unakaanga tu uko sawa hujai kanyangwa vibaya i think ni wale tu wanakaanga kivyao ukitaka kutoka nyangwa vibaya wewe kaa tu kivyako hakuna mtu atakukanyanga na hakuna mtu atakanyanga lakini kama tunaishi pamoja kuna kuwa na kukanyangwa na kukanyangana hizo vitu ziko ndo that's why we are running on how how do we relate how do we build this intelligence as we work together how do we connect and live well with people no paul takes time we were able to see what paul was telling them he said this many things encourage one another build each other up respect honor live in peace warn those who are free riders you know comfort the feeble those who are weak uplift them put them on their feet do not revenge be kind to everyone all these things see them paul saying and today we want to continue from where we left we were looking at 10 keys for building your relationship intelligence what are these 10 keys for building your relationship intelligence i think we went up to key number 4 right yes 10 keys for building your relationship intelligence we said key number 1 value people and we said see people as as a gift when you look at people don't just see people see them as a gift from god they are made in the image and similitude of god they are a gift unto your life don't see people as a burden see people as a gift and we said treat no no not before you go to number 2 we said give up the right of thinking about you first give up that right of thinking about you first basically vile tumeumbwa we want us first but if we want to build this intelligence on how to relate with people well we must be willing to give up that right of course you feel it should be first na tulisema yenyewe wakati tunakutana pamoja hata kwa masherehe hili jambo linatokea sana kwa sababu mtu anataka ashughulikiwe yeye kwanza unasikia watu wakiambia it is time for lunch kuna watu wanakimbia kukuwa number one. ndio achukue top layer na ikiwa ni buffet kuna watu ambao hawajali watu wangapi wako nyuma anaona kuku ile imewekwa hapo mtu hawezi kula tatu tatu lakini kwa sababu ni me first uh, kwanza sahani yake ina inaabudu dia jaribu kuangalia kama kuna watu wanamfuata nyuma we said give up that right to think about yourself first and we said let's run from jesus who said one who want to be great must be learn, must learn to be the servant of of all and that is the doctrine of jesus on servanthood and we were able to describe men as keys all padrocks in in life men the people that god brings your way they can be a key to your next door they can be a key to your next great thing that is about to happen or they can be a padrock they can lock you out so they can allow you in and lock you out value people siku za mtu mwambie hiyo imeingia value people hata wale unaona ni kama hawana dhamana wadhamini wadhamini watu number two, we said pastor jane treat people well treat people well no matter what when god gives you an opportunity to interact with people treat them well you don't know tomorrow mungu akikupatia nafasi ya kuishi na watu kwako ishi na wao vizuri amen kuna mahali tumeenda i think uh, last month with some of us uh, we had visited a brother in this church and one person in the meeting stood and said uh, mimi ndio nilikaribisha hawa vijana Nairobi nikaishi na wao kwa nyumba moja na wakasema walikuwa naishi sijui vijana nane sijui tisa kwa kwa nyumba moja ya 10 by 10 so you can imagine usiku walikuwa nalala aje lakini all of them those who came on that meeting wale walikuwa nalala hiyo kwa nyumba ya 10 by 10 kila mtu ako na kwake praise the name of jesus suppose yule ndugu ambaye alikuwa amejaliwa aliwanyima mahali we don't know whether where they are today they would be where they are but god ako na njia zake but the emphasis here is treat people well na maandiko haijatuambia wale wanaokutenda mazuri si tumesoma maandiko even when they get into your nerves hao wenye wanakusinya hata saa hii labda kuna sister kuna brother hapa wenyewe unasema hapa si si unipe nafasi kwanza nimwambie 
Remember one time we went to a mission somewhere with Pastor Jane and we were trying to reconcile our family. And we tried to sit down talking to the family. And one brother in the family said, Go there, Kidogo, Pastor. Hata wezi tuombea pastor, gojea. Nikamuza ndugu kuna nina, akaniambia wacha pastor. Wacha kwanza tuambiane ukweli mwanzo, diurudi utuongereshe na utuombe. Nikauliza wengine, njini munaona aje, hivu hamesema, wacha kwanza tuonge. Then tukafanya kama wale watu walikuwa na tafta pop. I had another pastor friend of mine, nikamuambia hawa watu hamesema wacha wa? Nikamuambia tujipe shuguri, wacha waonge. Kasmoke keupe kakitokea, tutarudi. Thank God, by the time we were leaving that home, they were able to talk, and they were able to reconcile, and we left a united family to the glory of God. Amen? So what I'm saying is treat people well. Number four, we say it. Love people genuinely. Wapende watu. Love people genuinely. Wacha kuwa mjanja. Wapende watu tu. Ivo tu. Love them. Genuinely, wapende watu. Ni nani yapendi kupendwa? Na yule anaye pendwa. Ni raisi sana kwa kenaye ku give back the same. Because give and shall be given back to you. So love people. Wada mbao wanasemanga wanachukiwa na watu. O wanafanyiwa na watu. Wewe jiangalie. Shida hata siya watu. Sana, sana. 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 Ni wewe. Si watu wanakuchukia. Wewe ndiyo unachukia. Ukiusikia mtu wanasemanga, mimi watu wanakuwa na shida na mimi, hata nikienda hapa, sijua natakia nini, ni wewe shida. Ebu kuza mtu muambia, sijui kama alikuwa nasema kuhusu wewe, lakini inakaa, amesema. So, so, <laughs> Amen. You are protected, mana ni pastor, amesema, kama nakutolea macho, muambia mimi siyo, mimi nikuwa nasema, pastor di ameniambia ni kuambia. So love people genuinely. Number four, number four, we said, reach out to people. Ah, amen. Na kumbuka hapo ndiyo tulimalizia. Tukasema, toka mahali upo, shuka hadi mahali watu, walipo. Ukijipata uko juu, shuka ufikie watu katika kiwango kile wako ndani yake. Reach out to people. Na tukasema vitu zingine ni kidogo. Chukua tu simu yako, pigia mtu simu. You remember? Pigia mtu simu, julia mtu hali. Usipigia mtu simu tu wakati uko na haja. I thank God for our brothers from Narok. Wamechukua safari hizo kilomita zote. Wakuja watuone. Wa invest in us. Wakituuliza pia rafiki zetu. Munaweza pia shirikiana na sisi. That's what we are talking about. Amen. Wangekaa kwao. Na wapiga tu simu ama watume John na card. Mbia John sinajua ya kwa hiyo kanisa enwe ni kiongozi Enda wambia viongozi wakuje Lakini wajaka na rock Wame decide ku travel mpaka hapa Tukue na wao hapa Amen They are reaching out to their brothers This is what we are talking about Reach out to people Na wajakuja tu kutuarika Wada tulikuwa pa first service Wame kuja na nikaona mzee moja Akifanya na mna hii Na ukiona wazee wakifanya na mna hii Amen Hata siku ya harusi mulituambia Na muka tuambia wakati wa nanini Sa zingine unazini Reach out to people Amen Reach out to people Number five Number five I have some few minutes remaining Number five I want to say point number five On relationship intelligence I want to say this, this is the thing Build your relationship culture Build your relationship culture. We are wired differently. There are things we like, there are things we don't like. Each and every one of us has an opportunity to build a culture on how to relate with people. Muna nipata. Build your relationship culture. This is what I'm saying. Set your good boundaries. Set your good boundaries. Have tires of relationship. Let's learn from Jesus. Jesus had different tires of relationship. He had one that is called the disciple that Jesus loved. Have you ever read that in your scripture? There is a disciple that Jesus loved. And even by the time he was going on the cross, read your Bible well. You find this disciple that Jesus loved 
was there with him as Jesus was being crucified. Akina Mark, majama walitimua mpaka wakaacha manguo. But the disciple that Jesus loved, who is John, the day Jesus was being crucified, John was there beside him. No wonder they were together like this. Amen. And when Jesus sees her mother groaning with pain, anamuangalia John, anamuambia John, take care of my mom. I am gone, but take care of my mother. Na atakuwa na rafiki ambaye naweza aminia amtunze mama yake kama si rafiki wa karibu amen sio rahisi kumwaminia mtu mzazi wako but john had a relationship with jesus that was so tight that jesus said take care of my mom when i'm done there my mom will be safe kamwambia john behold your mother. My mother is your mother. What well, Jesus was saying, we can share my mom. That was a disciple that was too close to Jesus. Another time the Bible tells us, and Jesus went to pray, and he carried around three of his disciples. Who are they? John, Peter, and James. Three of them. So Jesus had tires of friendship. There was John, there was John, Peter, and James, another tie of friends. There are times Jesus says, go and prepare a place so that we may come and have supper together. And this time, the people that are invited to the supper are 12 of his friends. Another tie. Hallelujah. I'm only saying this. Build your relationship culture. Get to know how far can people get into your life and how far can you get into their lives. Build some boundaries. It's important to have the outer court, the holy place, and the holy of. Si urafiki yote kiududo kila kitu naeza ambia kila mtu. Apana. Ambia mtu si namna hiyo. We are talking about relationship intelligence. Kuna watu wengine wanamwaga mtama. Ambia mtu pata intelligence. It's important to know who do you share with? What do you share with them? Some of us right now here we don't trust people. Why? We shared with some people that we thought we could share with only to realize they worked against us with what we shared with them. And it pains us so much paka tukasema ha hii dunia hakuna mtu wa kuamini. Hakuna mtu wa kuaminika. Sio kwamba hii dunia hakuna mtu wa kuaminika, ni wewe uli miss intelligence. Hello. Build your relationship. Kacha, set some good boundaries. Number 6. Number 6. It's a form of intelligence. Check your confirmation bias. Check your confirmation bias. Each and every one of us has what scientists call confirmation bias. An example of confirmation bias. I've worked with Mamjuria. Mamjuria tunahubiri anga na we. Na siku hida tutaenda maju. We unawambia. Tulianza kuhubiri na wewe. Huku PMI. Si huko maju tumeanzia. Praise the name of Jesus. Now I've worked with Mamjuria for some time. And there is what I would call my confirmation bias. Najua, nikianza kuongea na mam. Kuna kitu ataniambia. Now one of the words mam ataniambia, I know. I know. Tukiongea, ongea, naniambia, I know. Una watu wame interact na mamjuria. So, we tend to think, ata kabla si jamuambia, ata niambia, that is confirmation bias. Already in you, you have already confirmed, kiri atasema kabla, Sasa katika usiano zetu kuna venye tunajuanga nani anipendangi. Najua hata nikimwendea hata nitakia mazuri. So in your mind it's wired that this person can never work favorably towards you. So hata wakati unamu approach ule mtu bado unamu approach shingo ikiwa imeangalia kando. So what do you expect? You know the way God ametumba, kuna kitu inapitanga hapa kwa hewa mbao sujui nitaita nini. 
kama mtu anakupenda unajua anga anakupenda na kama anakucheza unajua na hujaambiwa lakini kuna chemical communication Hello So wakati mtu anakuresist you always know So ukinikujia na confirmation bias yako inakwambia ah basi hawezi nisaidia ukweli nitangangana kukusaidia kwa sababu ulisha confirm Mnaelewa kile nasema So check your confirmation bias as you, re- you relate with people. Kuna vitu umejiambia na nii hanipendi, na nii hanitaki. So hata venye una relate na huyo mtu, kuna venye. So check, always check. Of course, kuna confirmation bias that are true and and right and correct. Lakini kuna zingine that are not true. So check and recheck your confirmation bias. This is what we call prejudgment of people. Prejudgment of people how do you judge people before you engage on conversation what is in your mind what is your mind telling you concerning where that conversation will end that is what i'm calling confirmation bias check it check it hello number seven. this is good one tell your neighbor the good one is coming ndio hii sasa Number seven, don't look for good people. Be the good one first. Don't look for good people. Be the good one first. Tuna hiyo shida ya kutafuta watu wazuri. As you are relating with people, tunatafuta watu wazuri. Please, listen to me, church. Don't look for good people. Be the good one. Okay? Wewe kuwa mzuri. Hata kama watu ni wabaya. Wewe kuwa mzuri katia watu wabaya. Maana mara nyingi tunaona wale wabaya, tunafikiria mabaya, tunawapangia mabaya. Sasa wewe kuanzia leo, chagua kuwa yule mzuri. Kama hii kanisa watu wanasema, "Hiyo kanisa ni bure sana. Hiyo kanisa hakuna watu huko." Huko hakuna. Kama hakuna watu, ah, wewe kuwa mtu. Unapata kile nasema. Wewe chagua ni wewe utakuwa mtu. Ah, kwa hiyo youth, huko kwa youth hakuna anga upendo. Sasa anza kupenda kwa hiyo youth. Kama unaona hakuna upendo wewe, anza hiyo upendo be the good one first siuguze mtu mwambie na hako kama ingia tumetafuta watu wazuri sana sasa wachana na kutafuta watu wazuri amua kuwa mzuri hello number eight. be authentic be authentic unmask yourself tumechoka na hii mask you know and must be authentic in a relationship be authentic don't pretend be the real you amen wakati mwingi tuna pretend kwa ajili ya watu tunataka kujifanya kwa sababu we want to win people over no 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 uki pretend na we who win through pretense then how will you sustain that relationship unless it's by pretense but when you are self even when things go wrong somebody will say na anakuanga hivyo ushaisikia wale watu wanasema anga huyo ni yeye anakuanga juzi kuna mtu alisema mimi naongeanga hivyo tumtanizoea usikuwe na madharau kusema unaongeanga hivyo unaweza badilika but point yangu ni be you tap somebody and tell him or her please be you when it comes to relationships amen wacha kujifanya be you and please as a form of intelligence hang around people who celebrate the person you are yeah sijui hivi tuko inatoka wapi kitu kingine unaona mtu amevaa tu vibaya pole wadada wacheni niwatumie kwa mfano Mtu amevaa vibaya. Alafu watu wanasema, "Hey, umekill." Na ni uongo kabisa anakuambia, "Hata wewe unajua, hiyo umeambiwa ni uongo." Unatesa, unatesa nani na unajitesa? Vitu zingine tunaambiwa za uongo na unajua ni uongo. Be around people who celebrate you for being you. Wacha kukudanganya. Maana hata wewe mwenyewe unajua. Si ndio? 
mtu akivaa vibaya ambiwe tafadhali rudi nyumbani jaribu tena na hapa kanisani pastor Jane tumekupatia mamlaka una so be authentic hang around people who love you for being for being you that is important number 9 as we wind up I want to say number 9 this is important for us be alive to the reality of the law of sowing and reaping understand this be alive to the reality of the law of sowing and and reaping Galatians 6:7 the bible tells us you will reap that which you planted so never ignore this principle we call it the principles of consequences kila unapanda ndicho utakachofuna so ukipanda mabaya kwa watu wewe ngoja na watu ni wazuri wanakugoja anga wanajua anga kuna mahali wanajua kuna mahali wewe dharau watu tu kuna siku moja utawahitaji nao siku ile unawahitaji wanasema si alituonyesha sasa na sisi wacha tumuo niliambia kuhusu mama mmoja ambaye alikuwa amezoea hizi chama za wamama za kusaidiana wakati kuna shida yeye alikuwa amezoea kukiwa na jambo anatumanga pesa yeye ananga time ya kwenda kushiriki na wamama wengine lakini ana pesa sasa yeye pesa yake ndio ilikuwa inae inaenda pesa ikaendelea kuenda siku moja akapatikana wamama wakaganga wakasema vile pesa huwa inakuja hata sisi tutume pesa pesa itawasha jiko hata kama pesa unayo kuna vitu pesa iwezi ikafanya there is a principle of consequences the way you plant your word do you know words are powerful the way you plant your words hizo maneno unapandanga tu hivyo siku moja utavuna the actions you sow them as a seed your actions towards people they are seeds that you scatter one day you will reap so what are the seeds that you have been planting in people's life ukipanda begu ya kukonganisha watu siku moja utawahitaji waseme mm ni yule Siusalimia mtu mwambie plant good seeds. Na mbele itakuwa sawa. Finally church develop an investment mentality in your relationships. Develop an investment mentality in your relationship. When God gives you an opportunity to relate with people, see it as an investment. Develop an investment mentality in your relationship. Give us verse 15 once again verse 15 and then prepare for us Matthew 13:44 verse 15 of 1 Thessalonians 5 and then we'll wind up with Matthew 13:44 develop an investment mentality in your relationship 1 Thessalonians 5:15 we said what does the bible say and be careful be careful The word there says be careful that when you get on each other snap you do not snap at each other aha uh-huh. look for the best in each other look for the best invest in people look for the best in them and always do your best to bring it out that is what we are talking about invest in people see the best in them and bring out the best out of them be an investor Matthew 13:44 as we wind up the bible says the kingdom of god is like a treasure Matthew 13:44 let's read it the bible says what god's kingdom is like what it's like a treasure hidden in a field for years and then accidentally found by a trespasser the finder is ah hebu nisomeni hiyo Ninataka kuita mtu hapa tusaidiane kusoma hiyo. Aha. Uh-huh. What a fight. And proceed to sell everything he owns to raise money. That's what we are talking about. There are things that are worth investing everything. And some of the encounters that God gives us, 
Some of the people that God brings our life, we need to be careful. It may mean we sell everything to maintain these relationships. Let me wind up by saying this. God does not bring people into your life for the sake of it. Any person you encounter in your life, God does not bring them into your life for the sake of it. If God sent them there, your way, there is a reason as to why God has brought them your way. It is not accidental that today we are seated under the same roof. Mwingine anaweza fikiria, ah, nili kama wageni wetu, nilifikiria tu niende hiyo church. Si ulifikiria tu ende hii church. There is a divine hand at work. Amen. Ile siku tulitoka hapa na wazee wetu tukaenda Naro. Hatukujua hawa wazee watakuja huku. But siku ile tulienda tukapiga story. By the way tulipiga tu story. Wamama hatukuacha kwa ubaya. Tulikuwa tu tumeenda story ya wazee. Na tulipiga tu story. Na of course tukakula nyama. Naro kuwezi enda na ukosa kukula nyama. Tukakula nyama. And out of kupiga story yetu, we thought it was just a visit and and a talk. But now the relationship is growing. Yes? The relationship in Andalaki ikikoma. Tomorrow we don't know what God will do. Right? Sasa tumesema next visit pia tutabeba our sisters. Nao pia wakule nyama na sisi. Sio kula tu nyama. There is something that God is doing. We may not understand at that point, but God is at work. Being here today is not accidental. Having that sister seated next to you is not accidental. Being in the same group, at Koinonia group, unaonanga tu mnakutana tu Koinonia group wa mama, si kukutana tu kuna kitu Mungu anafanya. Hao watu Mungu amekuletea hapo. Be careful with them. Mukikutana warriors, be careful with other warriors. Usidharau mwenzako kwa sababu ya vile umemuona. Jana tulikuwa mahali na Sister Emery. And uh, as we were taking lunch, we were doing some introduction. And then, wakasema tunajuana. Tunajuana. Alafu nikasikia yu kujuana, nikasikia mahali na inaerekea. Ah, nikasema, ah. Nikasema, sasa watu wangekua mekosana hizo meaka. Hii nyama tungekula pamoja kweli. Ingeharibikia hapo. Kuzabu kuna mtu wangasema, mire huyu alinifanya, suwezi kula na eme za moja. Praise the name of Jesus. The kingdom of God is like a treasure that a man found and went and sold everything to buy the land that had the treasure. Some relationships are worth selling everything. Muna nipata? They are worth investing everything. Kuna usiano usikubali zivunjike. Maintain those relationships that God brings you away. Amen. Wakikuyu wa huko mlimani wakasema ado ni waido. Watu ndiyo mali. Watu ndiyo mali. Sio mali ndiyo watu. Watu ndiyo. So when you have people, you have what you need. Treasure the people that God has put around you. Let's stand on our feet and pray. Are you getting something? Are you getting better? Remember we are investing in quality relationship for quality lives. Investing in quality relationship for quality lives. And today we are asking ourselves how can we build that intelligence? Value people. Love people genuinely. Reach out to people. Build a culture of your relationship. Check your confirmation bias. Be the good one first. Be authentic. Understand the role of sowing and, and leaping. And we have said lastly, be an investor. Be an investor. Think of relationship as an investment opportunity. Vila unachukua wakati ukifikiria how to invest. Take time also to think about relationships. Let's bow our hands and think about the people that God has put around us. Whether here in church, at home, at the place of work, in the neighborhood, I want you to take a minute and think about the people who surround you. Iwe ni kazini, iwe ni nyumbani, the family members that you have. Think about these people that God has put around you. See them. And many more that God is about to bring your way. It's not accidental. Kuwa kwa hiyo familia, si kwamba tu 
ulijipata kwa hiyo familia ni mpango wa Mungu ukue katika hiyo familia those brothers that you have those sisters that you have it is in God's plan they may be stubborn yes but they are part of the people that God has given you and you as the one who knows God the one who has seen the right God is counting on you to make them love your God the way you act the way you relate they either see God in a positive way or in a negative way remember your words your actions are seeds i say they are seeds which seeds have you been planting in your family meetings which seeds do you plant at the place of work some of you are privileged your bosses at the place of work which seed do you plant on your employees on your workers do you make them feel unworthy which seed are you planting on your house help on your shaba boys on the people who works for you which seeds are you planting in their lives last sunday but one here we talked about the girl that saved naman's life she was a house help but i believe naman and the wife they took care of this girl she said we know that our boss can be helped somewhere you don't know you don't know what that person can do in your life so good seeds With every head bound we are making very personal prayer it is your personal prayer you are asking the lord father could i have missed one of those good people that you brought my way probably could i have judged the person who carried my miracle have i failed to be a good samaritan the bible says that republican passed by No the teacher of the law passed by but a samaritan looked at this man who was lying by the roadside and said how can i continue with my journey and leave this man wounded here he got out of his donkey he nursed the man put him on the donkey took him to an inn paid for his bills and said if it exceeds what i paid i will come back and pay the the extra have you been a good samaritan in your relationship with people Let's respond to the word of God as the spirit of God is reading you now. If you need to make a repentance prayer, go ahead. If you are asking God to help you to open your eyes to understand the people that God has brought around you, what they mean to you, you can make that prayer. If you are asking God to give you to double the intelligence, you can tell God, double my grace of intelligence of relationship intelligence that may know how to connect and how to live with people well. Just go ahead and pray as the spirit of God leads you. Go ahead and make a prayer. Thank you my brother just keep giving us some good music there. We are all praying. Usijaribu kunyamaza tafadhali. Hii ni wakati muhimu sana. Tunaomba msaada wa Mungu. Mungu atusaidie usinyamaze wakati kama huu. Kila mmoja wetu mimi nikiwa hapo katikati nahitaji kusaidiwa. Kuna wakati ninachoka na watu. Kuna wakati nasikia uzito wa kubeba watu. Kuna wakati ninaomba Bwana anisaidie maana napungukiwa kama mwanadamu. Father I thank you for the grace of connecting and relating with people. I pray as your servant the Lord you help me to understand relationship at the level of investment that I'll not take rightly the people that you bring my way whether at our church level Jehovah God at the corporate level where my father will interact with people in the marketplace Lord I pray that you may grant me wisdom to understand the people that you bring my way. Help me Jehovah God know how to live with them. Know how to bring out the best out of them. As your word has told us today that even my father them that are put burden on us that we may be able my father to uplift them. Them that are weak your word is commanding us to strengthen them. The feeble one oh God As a shepherd of the flock I pray as I relate with my congregants it is my prayer the lord you help me to understand the weak that I may strengthen them help me to understand the fast movers so the lord when they need to slow down I may be able to have the wisdom to slow them down to fit in your plan father we pray help us as a church as we relate with one another that you relate God's way 
will connect the way that pleases you in the name of Jesus. And we pray together, church. Our Father and our God, we are grateful that at such a time as this, you have spoken to us on how to relate war, well, how to connect war, well, and how to bear with one another. Lord, may these words find roots in our hearts and our minds that it may bear fruit, that this fellowship will become a special fellowship, that the world will admire, the world will say, we want to be part of that family because there is something special about that family. I pray that this wisdom of living with one another shall live with us and will hand it over to our sons and they will hand over to their sons and the legacy of God relationship will be cultivated. Father, we thank you for bringing us together. We celebrate each and every one of us and we, thank, we say thank you for giving us gifts all around us. We give you praise on and glory for this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. We can have our seats. We are coming to